Hey, all wicked deke here. Just uh, following up on uh, Mr. Gabe Lardy, the Uber prospect for the Kings. He was taken number three overall behind Nolan Patrick in the 2017 draft. And unlike Patrick and Peterson in Vancouver and Hershier, or however you pronounce it, in New Jersey, we have not seen Velarde play with the Kings. Not from a lack of effort or a lack of development, but from a back injury. We know from Bob McKenzie uh, that uh, Velarde had some kind of a procedure on his back, some kind of surgical procedure in the summer of 2018. And uh, it apparently didn't work <laughs> because he is still not skating. Uh, well, or he skated at some points. He even got into a couple of rehab games. Uh, but since then, apparently he's still not feeling great. And so at this point, he is back in Kingston, Canada, where his junior team is, where his family lives. And uh, he's out from under the thumb of the King's Fortress of Silence. And the good news is he gave an interview. And this is the first we've heard from Gabe directly in quite some time on anything in substance uh, in regard to his condition. So he doesn't tell us what the injury is other than it's his back. Um, but he did answer questions about what's going on, how he's feeling, those kinds of things. And so I thought you'd like to hear those things. Uh, so as to his status, he says, uh, the back, uh, has been ongoing for a while. So nothing's really changed. I just want to take some time off and make sure I'm 100% before I, I play, because obviously I haven't been feeling so well. So I'm going to take some time here and do my rehab. I've got a plan in place with the Kings, and I'll stick to that for now. As to the actual plan, uh, he says, I'm taking things a bit slower because I tried the, the thing where I can do rehab for three, four, or five hours a day, and it didn't really work for me. So I'm taking a different path. I'm taking things slower these days. It varies from day to day. Some days I can spend uh, two hours, uh, some days one, uh, and some days I can spend four hours. Uh, as for his rehab, it's comprised of healing with treatments and massage, along with stretching and strengthening exercises for his back. So that's his rehab right now. It sounds like he's pulling back on the intensity. Uh, he is not skating with the junior team. In fact, he is not even on skates. He's completely shut down. And it sounds like they're letting him just kind of uh, hang out and stabilize a bit. Uh, the Kings referred to it as healing up, whatever the hell that means. Um, but his family's in Kingston, so I think he's probably in Kingston because uh, he probably needs some support at this point. And keep in mind, you know, a lot of people are criticizing him, but a back injury is it's, it's not a situation where the guy's loafing. A back injury, if you've ever had one or you know somebody's had one, ask them about it. It, uh, it will put a hurdle in your day. <laughs> uh, you use your back for everything. And when you have a back injury, uh, you know, getting around can be difficult, much less getting on skates and playing hockey against grown men. I couldn't even imagine. Um, so, uh, you know, at this point, Gabe probably uh, could use some support and from people, uh, his family and friends. And you got to hope the kid comes back because uh, obviously the Kings are desperate for talent. Uh, they're old. And uh, a lot of their core is probably going to get traded and losing out on the number three overall prospect. Uh, that would be a big, big setback for them. And it's also, for, quite frankly, uh, a big concern for Velarde. You've seen some tweets roll around that maybe this is career ending. And that would be a real bummer because this is a kid who obviously had a dream of playing in the NHL and got so very, very close. And if it was to uh, not happen because of this, you'd really have to have some compassion for the kid because that's got to be just a, a crusher. So anyways, that's it for Gabe. Uh, just to, for clarity purposes, this interview that he gave was on December 28th, 2018. Uh, and I'm recording this on January 19th. Um, so a couple weeks have passed. We haven't heard anything from him. I don't think we will. Uh, probably until at least the end of March when the Kingston Juniors uh, season ends. Maybe at that point we'll get an update on what they're going to do with them. Uh, but I imagine that we're probably not going to see anything from Gabe until September of uh, 2019 um, when team starts thinking about you know the 2019 season rolling around hopefully by then he'll be uh healthy and uh highly flexible <laughs> and ready to go so anyways uh thanks for watching uh again the gable in injury interview if you're interested in ho hockey topics uh feel free to subscribe to the channel you know we'll be covering a whole variety of things uh, we are coming up to the trade deadline on February 26th, so it's going to get hot and heavy. Uh, and then, of course, after that, it's the run to the playoffs. So, cheers!